Hello, I'm Michelle Mallon. I'm the executive director and co-founder of the Honor Bell Foundation. I've been with the foundation since the very beginning in June of 2014. We're a nonprofit organization based in Denver. And I'm very happy to have with me today, Kayla Gabe Hart, who is a member of our board of directors and the leader of our education initiative. We really appreciate having the time to share the Honor Bell with you today. Unfortunately, we couldn't be there in person but hopefully this will be the next best thing. So let's get started. So what is a veteran? Veterans have been a part of our society from the beginning of the Republic. Any person who has served in the military of the United States is a veteran, whether they served one year, 20 years, whether or not they were in combat or whether they ever left American soil. Do you know that only 1% of all Americans actually serve in the military? So that means that maybe one of you in that room will actually serve. Veterans are old and young. They are men and women. They come from all ethnic backgrounds and all walks of life. Veterans are all around us. Some we recognize and some that we don't. These are photos of famous people when they served. Can you guess who they are? In the top left, we have Adam Driver, who served in the Marine Corps and is famous for playing Kylo Ren in Star Wars. To the right of Adam Driver, we have Ice-T, who was in the Army for four years and is now a television actor and rapper. Tom Selleck, to the right of Ice-T, was a sergeant in the Army and then the National Guard. On the bottom left, we have Morgan Freeman, who was a fighter pilot in the Air Force and has portrayed many military officers, the President, and even Batman's technology guy. Drew Carey on the bottom middle is a popular comedian and game show host. He also served as a U.S. Marine. And on the bottom right, Jackie Robinson, who was a second lieutenant in the Army and was the first African-American to play Major League Baseball. Here are a few more. Got any idea who they are? Now do you know? You guys may be a bit young for these, but your parents know. B. Arthur of Golden Girls is on the top left. She was a Marine and much more. Clint Eastwood, America's favorite tough guy, was in the Army during the Korean War. Chuck Norris, THE tough guy, was in the Air Force. And of course, Gal Gadot, today's Wonder Woman, served in the Israeli Army. But most veterans are just like everyday folks. Teachers, firefighters, police, plumbers, nurses, mothers, grandfathers, and uncles. Sadly, there are also our homeless. Do you remember how many Americans serve? Less than 1% but 19% of the homeless in the U.S. are veterans. Think about the veterans in your life. Be sure to thank them for their service. Maybe you're thinking of going, to, going into military service yourself someday. Veterans pass away. The military is obligated to provide honors for them. Maybe you've seen this on TV or in a movie. Death can come in combat or it can come many, many years after they left military service. But every single veteran earned these honors. And this is how honors are supposed to look. A rifle volley, the playing of taps, the folding and presentation of the American flag to the next of kin. Unfortunately, these days, the military is unable to fulfill all of the honor missions, especially outside of national cemeteries. There are nearly half a million veterans and active duty military who call Colorado home. And unfortunately, the Department of Defense isn't able to keep up with all of their memorial services. However, we have veteran groups who volunteer their time to come out and provide honors. It may look a little bit different, but they do a fantastic job. But what do you notice about everybody in these photos? Most of them are senior citizens. In extreme weather, standing for hours at a time, they won't be able to do this for very long. So we need to make sure that there is a way to honor all of the veterans who passed away here in Colorado. And that's why we made the honor bell. And now we're gonna show you a video of when we created that bell in 2016. And in just a few minutes, we will begin adding these artifacts to the molten bronze as we cast an historic bell, the Honor Bell. The inspiration for the Honor Bell was about three years ago, I attended a funeral for a World War II veteran, and at the conclusion of the ceremony, there were no military honors given. 
and so I thought, you know, there's got to be a better way to honor our service members and certainly our veterans from the greatest generation. We had the concept of putting artifacts from military veterans in the actual bell. We invited the Honor Bell Foundation from Denver, Colorado to come and watch us cast the first Honor Bell. Each state line we stopped, we did a dignified transfer of these artifacts from one motorcycle group to the next until we've gotten all the way here to Cincinnati and the Verdant Foundry where we did one final dignified transfer. It was a long journey, but it gave emphasis more to what we were doing and showing that the nation actually appreciated what we were doing. I donated two of my husband's artifacts to the bell, his belt buckle from the Coast Guard and his dog tag from the Coast Guard. I just felt that the Coast Guard with the insignia on it was something that was really special. We have artifacts from each major war since World War II. The metal was so hot that it basically just melted those artifacts into the molten metal so that it makes those metals actually a part of the bell. Working with the Verding Company has just been an incredible experience for us. They've been working as partners with us all along the way and without them we would never have the success that we have now for the first Honor Bell. It's neat to be able to partner with the Honor Bell Foundation that has this mission to bring one of these bells to every national cemetery. The Honor Bell Foundation, in partnership with Cincinnati's own Verdon Company, has forged the 1,000-pound bronze bell you see in left center field. After the pregame festivities, the Honor Bell will be escorted by the Patriot Guard Riders and Cincinnati Police, who will lead the bell away from the ballpark and begin the 1,192-mile journey to the Bell's permanent home at Fort Logan National Cemetery in Denver. Tolling of the Bell really signifies a solemn moment, and each time it tolls, in our case seven times, each one of those tolls represents something special and something that was lost to our country, and in this case, a veteran. The next sound you will hear after the moment of silence that we are about to have will be the first tolling of the honor bell at Fort Logan National Cemetery. These bells will be put all over the country to celebrate these lives of these soldiers that given their life truly for our freedom that we enjoy here in the United States. As you saw, the Honor Bell was cast in May of 2016 in Cincinnati, Ohio by the Verdon Company. Verdon is the oldest foundry in the United States. They've been in business since 1842, and they are the only foundry in the United States that can make a bell that size, entirely American made. It's 37 inches in diameter, 40 inches tall, and weighs 1,000 pounds. In the video, we mentioned artifacts from 12 deceased Colorado veterans that were melted into the bronze of the bell. This is why we say the bell is forged from honor. These artifacts represent every conflict from World War II forward and every branch of the military. They include officers and enlisted. I'd like to introduce you to a few of these men. In the middle row, we have Chris Falkel on the far left, killed in action in Afghanistan. To his right, Richard Hawkins, who served in World War II and Korea and Vietnam. His wife also served in World War II. She actually outranked him, so they had to get special permission to get married. On your bottom left, George Sakato, recipient of the Medal of Honor during the war in Korea. There's a POW from the Korean War, another young man who was killed in action in Iraq, a World War II flying ace who shot down six Nazi fighters. All of these men did extraordinary things in service to our nation, but lived relatively ordinary lives with their families here in Colorado. 
If there is one thing you remember from today, it is the importance of respecting those who have served. There are three words that for us are the core of our mission, dignity, honor, and respect. Each of those words has a specific meaning and relates to our three programs. What you'll realize is that these three words are very intertwined. It's hard to define one without using the other. Let's talk first about dignity. The definition is a way of appearing or behaving that suggests seriousness and self-control the quality of being worthy or honor of respect. This is seen in our veteran outreach program. We recruit veterans to volunteer their time to toll the bell. This gives them a new way to serve and show respect for other veterans. Here you see a few of the veterans who've tolled the bell. Mr. Pierce on the right is a 96 year old World War II veteran who tolled the bell at Coors Field in July of 2016 during the Rockies Military Appreciation Day. And then again for his own nephew in 2018. In 2019, sadly, we told the bell for his funeral. In the center, this is Hiroshi Miyamura. He is a Medal of Honor recipient from the Korean War. Honor. Honor means to regard or treat someone with admiration and respect, to give special recognition to. This is the actual rendering of bell honors at a veteran's funeral or a memorial event. We told the bell to honor those who have passed. I'll mention here that we talk about tolling the bell rather than ringing it. A bell is rung in joy, such as church and wedding bells, but when it is for sorrow, we toll the bell. Bell honors are provided at the request of the family and offered at no cost. Our bell guard tolls the bell seven times with seven seconds between. Now you're asking, why seven? We'll get to that shortly. Finally, respect. Respect is a way of treating or thinking about something or someone, admiring and treating well people who are impressive or have some authority, like your teacher or grandparent. So for us, it's important when we talk to students like you that we understand what it means to respect a veteran. Some things to think about and discuss in class. How do you recognize a veteran? How many of you have ever thanked a veteran for their service? What are some ways that you can honor veterans in your community? We spoke a little bit ago about the seven tolls, and you'll also notice that there are seven stars in our logo. Each one of these represents a phase in the veteran's life. The choice to serve, camaraderie, patriotism, respect, dignity, honor, and the value of life. You'll notice that seventh star is gold. Maybe you know what a gold star means in military service. Typically, it means that somebody has been killed in combat and their family becomes a gold star family. But for us, it also represents the overall value of the life of any veteran. In our logo, the stars are in a circle because they represent the community coming around the family at the time of mourning. And you may note the purple of our bell in the logo. That's a very special purple. That is the purple of the Purple Heart Medal given to anybody who is wounded in service. Again, we're sorry we couldn't be with you in person, but we appreciate your time and we invite you to learn more about the Honor Bell by visiting our website at www.honorbell.org. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter to learn more about our appearances and information on our programs. And please feel free to email us anytime with any questions. We hope to see you soon.